in, in math research, a lot of times what we do is we have this grand idea of what we want to be true. And then what we do is we start to track individual components. So we'll, we'll do a little bit of work on one component idea and see where that, where that brings us and then track it so that we can go back to it. Do another component, track it, go back to it, and then start to look how those things combine. And then eventually we get to a place where we've got enough results in the different sub problems related to that. And when we think to ourselves, well, how are these things related to each other? And then eventually we get to a place where we can have that relation. We might have to introduce notation or, or you know, basically bring new tools into this theory. And that's in, in this situation, a little bit broader depth. Normally in a math problem, you, you kind of, uh, I, I would be focused on one particular problem. So the most recent problem that I was solving was the electrical, um, the most recent big problem that I solved that took like many years to do it was this electrical circuit analysis problem to translate uh, real resist real circuits into uh, matri non singular matrix problems, and in that there were like ten or fifteen different sub problems that I had to solve. But each one, like we do some work, we collect data, get to a place where we're feeling good about it, go on to the next sub problem, go on to the next sub problem, etc. And then after it's all done, we kind of relate those things together and bring the most relevant tools out of that. And so from that standpoint, like the collection process, in your case, those were setting up a system to film the video. That's equivalent to spending hours writing by hand whatever mathematical analysis that is necessary right the the vision process like what i want to have the problem solved your vision like you now have a viable solution to that vision and you're presenting it over the last week right like that 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 is the research process what you're doing i could see I could identify that as literally phd research the difference is that most phd researchers focus on subsets of problems that their advisors defined basically. So the advisors like sitting out in the academic world looking for public paper, public uh, publishable papers. They have these lists of problems that are yet to be solved. And then the, you know, the student comes in there and goes to try to solve it, et cetera. But the mechanisms that you're using are the same mental mechanisms um, that I would say the PhD research is uh, based on. Um, and it, you know, it's taken years, like it literally took years of work to get to this space.